bit more question. In your experience as a banker, um, how do you see ASEAN from, could bounce back from the current economic climb? Yeah, I think the global situation, I think we need to be start at the global scenario first. Okay, If you look today, the world has a problem, which is that in the, going into the global financial crisis in 2008, total debt to GDP around the world, all banking debt to GDP around the world was 130%. And at that point in time, there was a global financial crisis because there's too much debt. Fast forward today, total debt to GDP is over 200%, right? So rather than facing the problem of dealing with the debt, reducing the debt, right? Debt was increased, right? And shared, and, 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 and you know, kind of spread more across the world, right? More debt in governments, more debt in emerging markets. So the world has a debt problem that is gonna take some time to, and, and some pain to get through. So the world environment uh, is going to be difficult. ASEAN is dependent on the external sector, export, right? It's exporting commodities, etc. Um, so we have to accept that the external sector is going to slow down. So there is a structural decline in our uh, top line in terms of income. And that's sure, I don't see all prices recovering. Yeah, I think it's going to be 30 to $40, roughly. Right? I don't see coal prices recovering very much. Palm oil has improved, but I don't see you know, another commodity super cycle or commodity boom. China is also doing things very differently. Right? China is all about consumption. They're not uh, domestic consumption. They're not uh, importing uh, so much uh, anymore. Uh, the US growth recovery also is very different today. Right? It's all mainly about consumer consumption. You look at business investment, it's still quite low. So the import is not so much anymore, right? Uh, for the for, for for the near term. So I don't see quick recovery. It's going to be a number of years, and in that number of years, the winners will be the economies which structurally reform.